What's good with it, YouTube? Dread Life 101 back today with another video for you guys. Now, let's talk about the synthetic dread community. Let's go. So, if you guys have checked out my other video, you'll see that I'm all about natural hair. I'm all about the simple process. I'm all about less product, less buildup. Now, <clears throat> from a natural standpoint, as a natty or a dread head or whatever the case is, when you see or when you're interacting with people that have synthetic dreads, it might stir up a little bit of confusion, a little bit of mixed emotions. Me personally, when I first started to see this stuff start to trend and for it to start to pick up, I was kind of set back from it. Not too much on the female side for me. As a guy, I was just looking at the guys. Like, why are there so many guys wearing synthetic dreads? Took a little bit of time. I still feel the same way about guys wearing dreads. I just, or uh, the synthetic dreads. I really just, I, I can't give the approval on it. If your dreads look real and you know what I mean, they don't look synthetic, but they are fake. Great job, awesome at it. I just wouldn't say go do that. That's just not one of the things that you would come to me for, for an approval or some kind of uh, go ahead on. Now, on the flip side of that, females and people who do synthetic dreadlocks, there's something that us on the natural side of the game can learn from this. Instead of bleaching and dyeing our hair, we can go to someone from the synthetic dread side and say, yo, I want to add some color. I want to add, I want to uh, lighten up my hair. I want to, um, whatever the case is, I want to add extensions to my hair, but I don't want to damage my actual hair. There's a lot to learn from the synthetic side of it. And to be real and to be honest, synthetic dreads are not new. You guys can see any movie from the 90s, like the more urban movies, like uh, Poetic Justice, uh, Don't Be a Minister South Central, Minister Society, movies like that where they're reflecting on uh, the African community. Basically, you can see that people have been rocking synthetic hair, uh, extremely long hair, musicians, actors, they've all been rocking the synthetic dread and the synthetic hair look for a really long time. The only difference in today is that obviously we have social media which we can spread communication instantly and to everywhere, to everyone across the planet. Basically at any point in time of the day that we choose to. Back then they didn't have that so there was less of a concern, there was less of a unity within the Drake community and now all these things are starting to build up and kind of take play into everyday aspects. So with that being said, me, I would say let's see what we can learn from it. Let's see what they're doing that we can benefit. Like I said, the bleaching, the coloring, the styles. If you guys check out some of these people's channel, I don't have any to refer to or reference from, but I'm just saying, like if you look at some of their channels or you look at some of their videos, some of these people are doing fantastic work. And just like on the natural side, there's people who are awesome at what they're doing and what they're talking about. And then you got another side that's like put 20 cans of aluminum sulfur oxide into your hair or some crazy stuff or put vapor rub cream on your scalp or uh, it's all kind of stuff going on in the drag community, even on the natural side. So <clears throat> just to play devil's advocate and put a spin on what I said before. Um, there's something to learn here. I believe there is definitely from the synthetic side of I would still go seek a professional. I would seek somebody who's been dealing with synthetic hair or synthetic dreads for a really long time before I actually go out and venture out and do that. I would not leave it up to a random person to touch my hair, whether it's natural or synthetic ever. Now, how do you guys feel about that? Do you like the synthetic dread look? Is that where you used to be? Did you did you once use the synthetic dreads to bring you into the transition of real dreads? I see a lot of people who have done that, uh, mainly guys. They'll do the uh, wrap around their smaller dreads, wear that in for about a month, two months, take it out, and then voila, you got nice form dreads to start off with. Um, that works as well. There's a lot of things we can benefit from learning from the synthetic side of the game. 
as far as our dreads go man i want to hear you guys opinion i want to see if you guys got any references you can point people to as far as synthetic game are you a synthetic avid advocate um whatever the case is man make sure you guys comment make sure you like if you guys haven't seen my other videos make sure you go back check out my other videos check out my content uh if you guys aren't following me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram sergeant asap 13 on instagram and that's all i got for y'all today and uh i'm gonna holla at you